YouTubers. I'm so excited that you're joining me today. I'm gonna do something really different than what it is that I typically do each time. I was thinking that I've never really formally introduced myself. And so what I wanna do is I just wanna share 15 unique facts about me so that you can really get to know who I am. So I spent some time yesterday talking to some friends, to some family, and just going over like my life dreams and goals and kind of deciding that like I need to really share who I am, what I stand for, where I come from. I just felt like it'd be interesting. Anyways, long story short, I jotted it down on a notepad, my handy dandy notepad that I carry with me all the time. And I'm gonna share some facts with you. So you may see me kind of look over to make sure that I'm on track or I'm not sharing anything that's not interesting, but actually something that I thought that I wanted to share with you. So fact number one, I am a super duper 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 Jesus lover. Like Jesus is life, he's amazing. Um, so go to church, I volunteer, um, I adore it. So I'm a Christian, that's fact number one. Fact number two is I have two wonderful daughters. I have an eight-year-old and an almost four-year-old. My daughters are my life. I spend so much time with them and invest everything that I have into them because they're simply amazing. Fact number three is I absolutely adore reading. Now, to be honest with that, I used to hate reading for years because I'm a lifelong learner and I was always in school and I felt like I was always assigned to some project and I hated it, right? But the older I got, the more I realized that I like to read what I pick out to read. Not necessarily what somebody assigns to me, but if I pick out a book or I find a book interesting, I will get so consumed in the book and I won't want to put it down. John Maxwell is my favorite author, in case you guys are curious. Uh, number three, or I did number three already. Number four is I am obsessed with seafood and could care less if I never ate meat again. Like, I'm kind of thinking about moving over to being a pescatarian. I think the only thing that I would probably miss is maybe spaghetti. Um, but I am super, super, super obsessed with seafood. Like shrimp, crab, lobster, like all up my alley. Just came back from Miami and that's all I looked for with seafood restaurants in Uber Eats. So I adore seafood. Uh, tip number or fact number five is I'm super OCD. Like don't judge me, but like super orderly, super organized. Like Movies are alphabetical order, CDs are alphabetical order, clothes are color coordinated. Like I function on routine and structure and organization, can't live without it. Um, I make spreadsheets for things. I have my files, you know, ordered based on my business, based on my personal life, based on my daughters, like super, super OCD, like no better way to explain it. Um, fact number six is turquoise is my peace color. So I did like a study a couple years ago where they talked about like colors that make you feel peaceful. And so if you notice in my brand, there's turquoise and that's because it's just like my peace, my welcoming and my calming feeling. And I have two, actually four turquoise pillows down in my living room that I like hug when I'm like stressed or whatever. And it, they like bring me back to my center. It's amazing. Um, fact number seven is I am always cold. So even when it's hot outside, you'll probably see me with like a hoodie nearby or a jeans jacket or something like that. Like I'm always cold. I keep my temperature in my house probably at like 78 and my poor daughters are like dying every day. They're like, ah, I can't breathe. It's just, it's so hot. I sleep with two down comforters, two, um, two fleece blankets and a sheet. And I'm still usually cold. So I usually sleep by a space heater. So that just gives you an idea of how cold I am. <laughs> um, fact number eight is I'm a super introvert. Um, and along with that, I kind of, I'll share my next fact, which is uh, fact number nine, is I'm also shy with public speaking. And so sometimes in large crowds, I lose a lot of energy. I get drained really easy and I get super nervous and anxious. So um, this, this dynamic is amazing for me because I'm sort of in my comfort zone, but still being able to be myself. So that's a fact that nobody, actually my family didn't believe me for years about that, but I definitely, definitely gained my energy from being alone. Um, fact number 10 is I'm super impatient when I drive. <laughs> it's really bad. Even when people are doing the right thing, I'm like, go, like, you could have you could have ran through that yellow light, like just two seconds quicker. But I was in an accident recently, so I'm trying to pull back from that, but pretty impatient. Uh, number 11 is I absolutely hate coffee. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the sound of it. I don't like how much it costs. I don't care about Starbucks. Like, I hate coffee and people think I'm crazy. But on the flip side, I'm super, super obsessed with Subway peanut butter cookies and Cinnabon. So like Cinnabon is like 30 minutes from my house. I probably drive there like once a week. And then there's a driveway, a drive through Subway next to me. And they know me by name because I get peanut butter cookies so much. So it's pretty sad. Um, number 12 is I am super indecisive with decisions and 
I flip coins to make decisions. It's so bad. So even with like major life decisions, like should I start this business or shouldn't I? I flip coins because I'm so indecisive. And I rely, if I rely on my own feelings, I'll just get consumed and I'll never really make a decision. So we are fat, but I flip coins on a regular basis to help my indecision. Um... Number 13 is I am a morning person. So people call me crazy, but I arise pretty much every day at 5 a.m. Even on weekends, I'm usually up by like 6 because I feel like I'm most productive in the morning. I'm most focused and that's just like me time. Like I can really hone in on what I need to do. I don't have to worry about the girls or phone calls or texts or emails. Like I can really focus. So I actually enjoy being a morning person. On the same token, I'm sort of an old lady. So I'm usually in bed by like 9.30 at the latest. That's really pushing it. Um, number 14 is I often spend way too much money at Target. Like I go to Target to pick up dryer sheets and I walk out spending like $200, but I don't really know anybody who can say anything bad about Target. Like you can get like purses and socks all the way down to toiletries. Like it's just, and groceries. It's the best place ever. And it's super close to my house. So it's actually really dangerous for me, but I'm obsessed with Target. <laughs> I'm admitting it. My name is Nicolia and I have an addiction and it's Target. I'm admitting that in front of millions of people, so judge me if you want. And then fact number 15 is I am super, super, super obsessed with the new show, This Is Us. I just think it's such a beautiful model of like families not being the typical structure and like how families can come together and have differences but still can love each other. Like, love that show. One more fact, only because my mom texted me as we were doing this, and she's like, don't forget to share this awesome fact. So... Uh, one last fact, so it kind of makes it 16, but the last fact I want to share is that when I was eight years old, I wrote a resume all by myself because I wanted a job, well, I wanted to be on student council first, so I got accepted to student council, but then I ended up using the same resume and walked up to the street, up the street to go to like a small bookstore and applied, and although I was way underage and it was probably illegal to let me work, the lady ended up giving me a sucker and saying how she admired my strength and to never lose that momentum, and it's funny because I'm always looking to do something thing more and that just that just showed so much even when I was young so those are wonderful facts about me please take some time to comment below let me know what we have in common or what we have different like I know there's gonna be a million people who say like how can you hate coffee coffee is amazing how can you live without it but you see like I'm super energized even when I don't have coffee it just that's just life right um, so make, make sure you take some time to comment below and let me know some interesting facts about you. I'd love to learn more and I will chat with y'all later. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye guys. Continue with clarity.